Hey guys, Metal Venom here, and today I want to talk about making a trailer for X Rebirth. And the first main issue with this is that Egosoft have given me a huge and vast game that looks absolutely amazing, and there's just so much going on at once around me. It's really hard to actually focus on one thing at once. So what it actually entails me doing is flying around this huge, gorgeous universe, just uh, capturing as much as I can. You know, I'll uh, fly up to a fighter strafe in a capital ship or, you know, up to a massive space station and try and create a really nice pan shot of that. And, you know, just try and find some features in the X universe that really do stand out, like the gates, the stations, and the really awesome looking ships that the, they have in it. Like this scene here, we have a huge capital ship in the background and, you know, the little ships in front of it, it just absolutely, looks absolutely amazing. And these flaming pipes here, I just thought that looked great, so I flew over to it, started capturing, you know, and the giant pans of these massive space cities, and some of the footage was just absolutely amazing. It, the hardest decision is, what actually do I want to put in the trailer? So when it actually comes down to capturing the footage for the trailer, the game actually uses an in-game method of um, recording in JPEG sequences. So what that means is every single frame is saved as a JPEG image. And later on in editing, you can you know make a sequence out of them images, which could consist of maybe two or three hundred frames for a five or ten second uh, section of video. And I'll end up having a huge archive of all these uh, JPEG sequences that I can then sift through when I want to actually start editing and you know throw away the ones that didn't come out very well because when I actually record uh, with the JPEG sequence method, the game is actually running at one frame per second. So <laughs> every single f uh, image you see in the trailer, the game at, for me at that time was running at one frame per second. So like there, trying to follow that fire to strafe in the capital ship, the game at that time for me was running at one frame per second. So it's kind of hard to judge how long the frames, uh, the sequence is going to be and how smooth your controls are going to be for it. So once we actually start sifting through our footage, we can actually start piecing together the first draft of the trailer and what I'll do is I'll make a, a first draft and then send that off to Burned and the team and they'll send me back feedback on what they want changed and stuff and it ends up like a tennis game you know we'll uh, correspond back and forth of what they want changed okay I'll change that I'll send another version and the actual final draft uh, version of the trailer you know was like the 12th iteration of it so it's quite a lot of changing and you know feedback and stuff that needs doing but once the visual side is done we can then move on to the audio and I actually worked with Alexi, the uh, Egosoft musician, and this is a custom track for the trailer, and it actually it turned out amazing. And me and Alexi will work together, and we'll try and sync the visual side of things to the audio. And it makes a much better viewing experience for the viewer if the audio is, you know, synced to the visual side of things. So, you know, we have, you know, the bangs and the, the impacts scenes, you know, synced to the um, music track. So really happy how that turned out and once that's done you know we're pretty much got the visual and audio side of things done we can then start adding sound effects we can add the intros and outros and the best part about making trailers is getting it out to you guys and getting the feedback good or bad you know it always puts a big smile on my face and i'm sure the rest of the egosoft teams if the you know it's well received so thanks for watching this video uh, a little insight into making trailers for x rebirth this is a uh, metal venom signing out and i'll catch you later thanks for watching